guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So let's move on to today's video without any delay because it's a bit lengthy one comparatively because today we are going to discuss some main concepts as promised in the previous video that we'll be discussing more concepts which are related to technology, software development and all. In today's uh, video, we are going to talk about how to learn Python in the easiest way. In the easiest way, in the sense, the way which I tried, the way which I learned Python. So let me just tell you a short story, which is mine. I studied uh, biology in my 12th standard. So biology was my mainstream. Uh, then I switched to computer science. So in engineering, computer science was my major field. So obviously, the first sem, I got a programming language and luckily I got Python so I was so happy because uh, in the due course of time I started learning in the beginning I was not happy at all because I was not aware of any programming language but later on I understood that it was easy and it is we can also study even if you don't have a computer science background so I have made this video especially for all those people who are from computer science background and who are also from a non-computer science background so that they should be able to understand and learn these concepts because these are trending nowadays very much in almost all the fields I should say so let me get into the video before that one more thing I want to mention is that I was not posting much right I was not posting many videos uh, on YouTube like if you take till date I haven't posted many videos so the reason is that I have to research on videos and I have to make quality content so it takes some time so in between the freelance work in between the college work the project work final semester you know so you have the final project final year projects too and in between all those I was it was very difficult for me to find a uh, find time to do this uh, make videos I'm really sorry about it but I've tried my best and like I have uploaded two videos in between even there are as I said in the previous video there are still vlogs which I have shot and which are pending for editing so once I edit all these all those I'll be able to upload it so let me tell you if you don't uh, get continuous content from me I'll be posting on Instagram because that does not take much time all those concepts which I know all those programming curves code snippets and all I'll be posting on Instagram so do check out my reels Instagram like on Instagram obviously and also my uh, Twitter as well as Facebook handles every link all the links has been provided in the description box do check my previous video too so that you should know why Cloud Tech IT solutions are providing this content so the entire content is being provided by them okay so that they are an IT based company software based company so they are based out of Hyderabad so let me tell you uh, that in the previous video, second last video yeah in the second last video I've mentioned why they are uh, providing the content and how their hiring strategies are so do check the, check out the previous video I'll be posting the links in the description box and let's get into the video before that the regular thing please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon as well as the like button bell icon is must because as you can see it's part one so i'll be uploading continuous uh, the other parts too soon and i have made it into various parts because it would be difficult if you watch a lengthy video right so please 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 stay tuned for that and do click on the bell icon too do share with your friends because you know sharing is caring and everyone should learn these concepts nowadays it's very useful so now let's get into the video so as said this is python for beginners in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing for advanced people too advanced concepts will be discussed as mentioned these are for coding enthusiasts do not forget to check my playlist i'll be placing this in a separate playlist other videos related to other concepts will be separate in separate playlist do check it out and yeah let's move on before getting into this concept called python this programming language called python do you know what python is do you you just know you might just know that it is a programming language do you know the details of it that is needed right you should know what is python first of all before getting to know why should we learn it and how should how to learn it. so python is a general purpose programming language first of all and it is also a scripting language scripting language in the sense those like html javascript all these are scripting languages so similar to that python is also a scripting language and it's also an interpreted language interpreted in the sense the code is executed line by line each line will be executed that's why it is called as uh, called as interpreted language 
now the main part which is it's open source as well as community driven so now let's move on to the next concept which is the history so obviously any topic we take it obviously has a history right so this was created or this was developed during the early 1989 1990s during that time okay and the father of python is gadovan rasam and he named it after the famous show which is monty python let's not dig deep into it because you know those are just for knowledge and the main concepts are yet to come the main applications which have been using python recently like for long they are google ibm cisco qualcomm youtube video sharing the way we share videos on youtube everything is based on python these days and the next thing why python most important concept to be known most importantly we should understand that why should you use python what is the need of python python to be really frank enough if you ask in my case in anybody's case in any programmer developer's case or which is the most easiest language the first answer would be always python so also it has a very simple syntax and it is important in data science as well as machine learning you know these two are the main sectors in today's industries uh, because every industry every industry in the sense almost all may be medical may be transport may be uh, health science i mean like that comes under medical right so all other industries any such industry everything has machine learning ai concepts like they have approached all those concepts they have adopted all those concepts and it is also compatible with all the main operating systems in uh, linux it comes in built but in windows you need to download i'll be showing i'm making a video on that too how to install python on windows so by looking at that and also i'll be providing all the details all the installation in a separate playlist so do check it out and this also has a robust standard library that's the main part or that's the main concepts or features of python you can call these as the features of python the next is what is the power of python python has the power like you know you should know why python is used you also you just saw that why python is being used why should we use python now what power does python have where do we use it we use it in web development like we use django framework flask framework for web development we have we use this in data science and machine learning we use this for data visualization such great impact python python has in today's world next is the main thing the comparison between the two giants we can call to uh, like leading tech giants we call companies in that way right these two programming languages are very good competitors to each other so java and python when you compare with each of the features let me tell you when you compare with the type this is general purpose and this is high level in java you write once you run everywhere code readability and short syntax is a highlight of python compilation it easily compiles on any platform python when you compare with other operating systems or other platforms uh, it easily compiles on linux productivity this is less productive than python because we need to define each of the variables every time we use i'll explain all these in in detail in the upcoming videos and python this has fewer lines and 5 to 10 times more productive than c++ or java types this is statically typed and all variables whatever variables we use in the program it must be explicitly declared explicitly declared in the sense it should be declared prior to using but python it is dynamically typed and you, any developer who uses this python language does not need to declare anything he does not need the requirement of declaring any variables speed java is 25 times faster than the, than python in games when you compare in games this is not as fast as java distribution due to its popularity java software is easy to distribute but python is slower than java so that is not, that's the reason why it is not so easily distributed as java the next thing which is the most important thing in today's video is that let me tell you before experimenting before getting into the programming section before getting into the programs you need to have the setups installed right so you can use any of these anaconda spider which i would love using jupiter notebook i do prefer that but not as much as spider and idle is also an environment you through through which you can edit and run python code 
so as i said in windows you have to install python separately but in linux it will be already inbuilt you just have to run the code types of data now comes the main one of the main concepts in python which is types of data what are the data types that are available numbers string boolean let me consider this as a set because number string and boolean are like a set of characters not a collection of characters just a set of characters numbers will have all the numbers maybe decimal fraction anything now complex numbers anything string will have characters boolean is like true or false type list tuple and dictionary are collection of elements collection of variables collection of data so list tuple and dictionary they have their own characteristics their own way in which they define it so let me tell you that all these three are collection of elements keep that in mind okay collection of data so list tuple and dictionary in list you can have numbers in it string in it characters everything okay same as a tuple and dictionary and in today's video i'll be showing how to identify a data type the first thing is how to run a python code first the python code will save it as a dot py file which is dot py file that source code is then converted to a byte code which is dot pyc file and then the runtime which is the python code will be executed this is how we run a python code so as you can see i have opened the anaconda navigator i'll be making a video on how to install anaconda navigator too uh, so as i said you can see it in the installation playlist and let's move on to this so let me tell you that there are many such ids available here cmd.exe prompt data lore uh, then ibm watson studio cloud jupyter lab jupyter notebook this is what i was suggesting jupyter notebook and spider you also have qt console vs code which, which is visual studio code and you also have r studio for programming language r and pycharm professional you can use even pycharm for running python code but for easier purpose for easier understanding let me tell you spider would be better as of now and in the upcoming videos i'll be showing uh, how to edit using pycharm to how to use spider how to use jupyter notebook and all i'll be showing it in the upcoming videos so for today's program let me just take jupyter notebook which is easier to execute simple lines of code even multiple uh, multiple lines of code but i would go for a spider when you have huge lines of code so let's wait till the jupyter launches it will be opening in the browser and yeah we have got it now click on new and python 3 and that's how we'll be getting a jupyter notebook we can uh, edit it here hello world we can program okay we have renamed it now we are gonna print our first python program so hope everyone have opened the, the jupyter notebook python compiler and now we are gonna type the first code which is print hello world which is common to all the languages any language we start with we should always go with the hello world program because that's like uh, considered as something which is traditional so that is always better now we have entered the code print hello world whatever is printed in the double quotes prints as it is i will be showing you that so this will print as it is this is the print statement so here are many options you have got many options like uh, open new notebook and we have all other options they have also given the keyboard shortcuts and uh, see you can see this to run the cells we have control enter and kernel widgets and help and also a toolbar given below now let's run this what we saw it's control enter hello world it printed so successfully we have run our first program and let me tell you that in, in order to insert you can just click on a or b okay below we are going to add if you are going to add above it's a small letter is fine i've added it now we are going to print something which is not in quotations so let me print as it is hello world this will run into an error let me show it it's an invalid syntax fine now we'll click on b let's move on to the next one print now i'm going to give two numbers two plus three this should print what guess L let me ask you to guess what could be the answer it would be obviously the sum of two and three which is five now let's move on to the next line 
if you print double quotes 2 plus 3 then you will get 2 plus 3 as it is even if you print in a single quote it prints the same uh, let me show it print 2 plus 3 it prints as it is now let me tell you that these are all the print statements we have seen as of now now let's move on to next line we'll declare a variable a equals to 10 okay and now we are going to print a it prints a so that's how it works we can even declare in the beginning or we can directly print it that all depends on us and next we are going to see how how to identify the data type as i already said we will be showing you the type so oopsie it's type of now let me enter a letter okay it's a string because it's a letter a i've given the double quotes string is always written in double quotes or single quotes type of 10 it's an integer that's how you get it okay now we are going to add a new line let me let me show you how a list is let me declare an anjali is equal to a comma n comma j okay so anjali has all these characters let's assume that this list is like this we'll control enter it has saved b because we need a new line now we are going to check the type of anjali it's a list so let me copy this and let me type the same thing by changing the square brackets into the curved brackets okay we have entered it now b type of anjali it's a tuple so hope you are understanding what it is with a square brackets it is list with a close bracket with this the normal brackets or curved brackets it is a tuple now let's move on to the next one which is so i'll i'll copy paste the same but i'll have the curly braces okay control enter now we are going to add a new line uh, it is now type of okay oopsie anjali what it is it's a set it is also a type of data it's, a, it's also a data type so now let's click on b now we are going to see how a dictionary is uh, so we are giving the curly brackets uh, curly braces that's what they called right so i always get confused with the names uh, but curly brackets or braces that's a confusion okay so let's have uh, it has a one is to a we are giving it as a and 2 is to b fine this is okay i guess uh, so let's give enter so it is right the syntax is right and now let's print the type of anjali it is a dict which is a dictionary fine so similar in that way let me tell you this is a key value pair a dictionary is always a key value pair this is a key this is a value we'll be discussing everything in detail in the upcoming videos let me tell you that you can also have this in this form type of uh we can even have this thing copy it copy this and let me paste it here so we have entered a list inside the type of function uh now let me give the end list similarly if you add all these things inside it without declaring it in a variable before you'll be able to print it in the upcoming videos i'll be telling you what a variable is and how does it store the data okay not let's not go very detailed in the first video itself because you might get bored when you discuss in-depth concepts this is really like it's a full of fun so please do try this only when you try you will be able to succeed and in the upcoming videos i'll also post uh, a few code snippets which i have worked out some chatbot codes and all so i'll be sharing that too so if you are an advanced one please do check it out so as said this is all about python and we'll see in the next video so before concluding 
let me tell you that my ebooks link as well as my course link my udemy course link everything is in the, in the description box if you want to earn money or if you want to find out ways through which how to earn money please do check out my ebook and also if you want to know about wordpress how to install and create a wordpress website step by step do check out my course i'll also provide you the coupon just a direct message me through my instagram page that will be more appropriate because uh, i mostly use instagram uh, you know that's common nowadays and um, and also to check my portfolio uh, and also please to suggest if the edits if there are any edits or if there are any changes that needs to be done please do suggest and also thank you so much for watching and one more thing my github link is also provided in the description box you can check out some content like some code snippets which would be useful for you so please do check it out hope you understood all the concepts and if you want to know which is your skill how to identify your skills please do check out the previous video which was posted so i'll be giving the link in the description box and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the like button as well as the bell icon and do share with your friends too. Let's see in the next part. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.